Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. Uh, one of the most popular questions I receive on my channel is where to rent an apartment for expats in Dubai. And today I'm here with my husband, Dennis. We are having breakfast. He's an experienced real estate agent and I decided to ask this question. Hey guys, I think I found my favorite duplex. Go and check the full tour of this luxury property on my YouTube channel. Hi guys. So, can you please tell us what are the best uh, areas to rent an apartment for experts? Okay. There is no specific areas that an expert should choose, but uh, obviously they need to take in consideration the budget that they have mm -hmm. and uh, for how long are they coming here. Because if they want to just to come and test the city and uh, try to find a job here, there is no reason for them to apply for one year contract. Yeah, uh, but the most like popular areas not the best areas for expert because uh, uh, each and everyone has their own specific requirements but the most popular areas um, for example is dubai marina it's mm -hmm. very popular it has a very good uh, connectivity to to the main roads there is a metro and uh, there is as well uh, like you can go to the beach and the infrastructure there is incredible you have a promenade you can walk over there and the skyscrapers very beautiful place mm -hmm. uh, another popular area uh, can be like for example GLT, Dubai Hills, JVC, there are quite a lot of them. The only thing that uh, like an expert should do is to do some kind of uh, research before coming to Dubai to, to check the prices and whenever you check the prices like on the portals just keep in mind that the price is usually mentioned for the entire year mm -hmm. yeah and some lenders are okay to accept uh, like quarterly payments some of them expect uh, to get uh, payment every six months, so you need to pay it in advance. Mm -hmm. in, in the rare cases, you need to prepare uh, 12 checks, which is uh, very unusual, but some of the lenders now accept 12 checks as well. How you can do this research? You can open the, the portals where the listings are, and uh, like I'm usually using Property Finder, it's a quite good portal, so you can check the prices in uh, Dubai Marina, in JVC, in uh, GLT, in Dubai Hills. And uh, there you can check what you kind of can afford, uh, where, where will, can you afford to stay. Like JVC, for example, is more affordable than Dubai Marina. Mm -hmm. If people don't have uh, an opportunity to rent an apartment, uh, what are the short-term options they have in Dubai? If it's a single person, mm -hmm. or even if it's a couple, they can always uh, rent a room in the apartment. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like sharing on a sharing basis. And uh, if you want to check this option, you need to go to to the Bizzle. And over there, there are a lot of uh, listings, and you can pick and choose different areas and uh, uh, different projects as well. Uh, for this, I can uh, recommend the GBR as an option because you're next to the to the beach, and uh, there you can find quite affordable. Uh, rooms and they are spacious. Mm -hmm. And what are the documents required to rent an apartment in Dubai? Can you do it straight away once you move to Dubai? Uh, if we're talking about the long-term rent, no, you can't because you need to have a residency visa. Mm -hmm. Without residency visa, you will not be able to connect the diva. Uh, the diva is uh, utilities like electricity and water. Uh, and uh, the landlord will not allow you to stay in the apartment and uh, keep uh, the utilities under his name. So that's why you need to have a res residency visa before you can uh, rent something on the long term. Mm -hmm. For the short term, you just need to have a passport and you need to pay uh, the money to the lender. Or maybe like if you decide to stay in a hotel, you can stay in a hotel and just yeah, with your passport and the, the payment. Mm -hmm. And what are other costs uh, besides uh, the rental costs are involved? in renting an apartment like you said diva internet if you rent a room on the short term there is no other expenses okay everything is covered like uh, like uh, internet electricity water ac for the long term yes you need to pay for utilities mm -hmm. and uh, as well you need to pay commission when you uh, are renting the property and you need to pay as well security deposit so commission and security deposit equals to five percent each so total ten percent mm -hmm. it's an extra cost that you need to pay when you renting something but your security deposit will be refunded back to you after the uh, expiry of the contract 
in case if you left the property in a good condition. So this is something that protects the interest of the landlord. As far as I know, most apartments are rented out without furniture. So again, it's an additional expense. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you need to keep in mind that mainly in Dubai, property is rented uh, without the furniture mm -hmm. and uh, you, you need to take a furniture. We have IKEA. It's quite affordable uh, furniture and uh, yeah, here it's difficult to say how much you need to spend because it all comes to the special preferences of specific yeah. people. During the lockdown, many families prefer to rent a uh, villa or townhouse in Dubai. So what are the best areas do you recommend? Uh, the hottest area right now is Dubai Hills mm -hmm. because it's something new. It's built, built by the best uh, developer in Dubai, like the biggest one, Imar. And it has a very good connectivity uh, within the city. Mm -hmm. uh, so Dubai Hills is uh, like the main area where people are focusing now, but it's very difficult to get the townhouse uh, at this moment. Uh, alternatively, there are a lot of options in um, so-called Dubai land uh, area. In Arabella, Casadora, there is a project in Shama, but they are a little bit further uh, from the main part of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, the main area, the best one is uh, Dubai Hills right now. So can you tell us, uh, please, so once again, what are the best portals, websites people can use to find an apartment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for the long term rent, I'm usually using Property Finder. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find the link in the description, I believe. Yeah, I will <laughs> leave everything in the description. Uh, and uh, if, if you're looking for the room, for, for the master bedroom, mm -hmm. if you don't want to take an entire apartment, uh, you can find listings on Dubizel. There is a specific section for the rooms. Yes. Like uh, you can find a master bedroom, a uh, regular room, all over the city. And uh, this, is, this is quite efficient for, for people who are just coming here and uh, they need some time to, to, to find something. Obviously, if they're single, if it's a family, maybe it's better to stay in a hotel. And for the hotel, you can check uh, booking.com. And as well, there are alternatives uh, for the long term uh, stay uh, on Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And uh, this can be an option as well for people. Thank you very much. It was very useful. So guys, I will leave all the links in the description below. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.